In this lesson, we're going to find the exact value of some of the trig functions, but this time, rather than degrees, our angle measurement's going to be in radians. So we're trying to do sine of pi over 3. This is all meant to be non-calculator. And rather than the unit circle and all the different numbers associated with it, uh, I refer to this information, and this is my unit circle. So we're going to be talking about, if it's going to be non-calculator, you're going to be talking about angles that are coming from 30, 60, 90 triangles, 45, 45, 90 triangles, or it's going to land on an axis, and that means we're just grabbing a coordinate. Um, and then I put this here, the A smart trig class, to help us figure out whether our answers are positive or negative. So here we go. So it's all based upon uh, reference angle. And the thing I like about radians as opposed to degrees is because these are non-calculator style problems, that denominator instantly tells me that we're talking about a 60 degree reference angle. Because pi over threes, threes go with sixes, so you're looking at something related to 60 degrees. If it was a pi over six, you're looking at a 30, a pi over four, you're talking about a 45. So that kind of tells me right away um, what I have. And there's two pieces of information that I need. Number one, I need to know my reference angle. If I know my reference angle, I know what triangle to pull from. If I, and then number two, I need to know my quadrant. My quadrant is going to tell me whether it's positive or negative. So right away it tells me a reference angle. I don't have to do any work, which is great. So you're really doing sine of 60 is really the math that you're doing. So sine of 60 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm getting a root 3 over 2. And then typically I'll kind of draw some little bit of a visual. Now this one is 60 degrees, so you're just sitting in the first quadrant. So our answer is just a very straightforward pi over 3, or uh, root 3 over 2. Um, so let's do another sign, and we'll do 5 pi over 3. So if you do 5 pi over 3, you're still talking about, really, sine of 60. All right, so your reference angle is this. So if I draw this, 5 sixties means 300 degrees. So if I draw... 300 degrees, I would be in the third quadrant, or the fourth quadrant, which means my answer that I'm about to get is going to be negative. So I know my quadrant, I know my reference angle, I'm really doing sine of 60, so sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, so it's the same root 3 over 2 because the reference angle is the same, the only difference is we're in the fourth quadrant, so my answer is going to be negative. All right, so let's do a cotangent of 5 pi over 6. So if you do a cotangent, you're really thinking that this is a tangent. Um, so we're going to evaluate this whole thing as if it's a tangent, and then we'll flip it around. Uh, we'll flip it at the end. So 5 pi over 6 is, you're looking at a bunch of 30s. You got 5 of them, so that makes 150 degrees. So 150 degrees would be right there. So we're looking at doing tangent in the second quadrant, so our answer is going to be negative, negative something. Let me do the tangent version of this thing first. So tangent of 30 degrees is our special 30, 60, 90. Tangent of 30 is 1 over root 3. That's our tangent version of it, but we want cotangent, which means we're going to take this and flip it around. So it's going to turn into a root 3 over 1. So I don't need the over 1, but it's going to be a root 3. I know it's negative because we're in the second quadrant. So a reference angle gave us our triangle, which gave us this fraction. Tangent's the reciprocal, or cotangent's the reciprocal of tangent. So I flipped it. We tack a negative on because of the quadrant location. Because you're dealing with y's divided by x's, which is going to be negative. Okay, let's do... One more here. So if we were to do um, secant of 3 pi over 2. So secant of 3 pi over 2 is really cosine of 3 pi over 2. Um, 3 pi over 2 is 270 degrees. So what you're looking at, uh, if you don't remember that, then anything over 2 is 90s, and you got three of them. So you're looking at 270 degrees because you got three 90s. So 270 degrees is here. And if we're doing cosine, we're here. So it doesn't refer to a triangle. 
it refers to um, kind of a coordinate. So cosine of that is going to be uh, our x value. And our x value on that coordinate is 0. Uh, but we want to do the reciprocal of that. So we'll need to force it as into a fraction so we can do the reciprocal. And then when we do the reciprocal of that, we'll get this. And that is undefined. So sines and cosines won't have undefines, but the reciprocals of them may because um, you may have some zeros and you may be doing some reciprocals of those. So that is us kind of thinking in terms of degrees-ish, but you're in radians, um, where I just really need to figure out what the reference angle is, figure out what quadrant we're in, associate it to the proper um, special triangle or axis, and then your quadrant's going to determine whether you're positive or negative. All right, that was finding some exact values of trig functions. Thanks.